it took me so long to process the definition or the concept of anti-disestablishmentarian the first time I interacted with the word. I kind of glazed over it thinking it was kind of the opposite at first. And then as I sat there and thought about it, I'm like, no, that's the opposite of what I was thinking. <laughs> it's anti-disestablishmentarian. It's a long ass word, but I am kind of more partial to uh, disestablishmentarians. I was listening to Robin Hood Prince of Thieves soundtrack today. I don't think any of y'all have lived unless you've played that through a French horn. A lot of people listen to that song, they don't even know it's a French horn in the background. But man, when you when your director or whatever calls that out and you get to play that and you're in like first, second, or third chair, you just get to let it belt out. Oh. I was never good enough to like nail it perfectly, but when you're playing at that level with that many horns and that stuff around you that doesn't matter if you fuck up a little bit, people don't have good enough ear to like listen for it. They don't even know that they're listening to a French horn. They just know that they like it. <laughs> French horn is like the sleeper instrument. I miss playing it. My grandma had put aside money when she died. She didn't have a lot of money, but she put aside money for education and I bought a French horn. I don't have it anymore, but uh, that thing was badass. It was a Yamaha, like nickel plated, it was sick. I think the biggest thing I just wanted to say was about the General Kelly thing and sycophants. Like I've had personal experience in my life where, you know, somebody in a position of power has tried to, or successfully used multiple people around them to try to build a case, control a narrative, kind of blot out the truth. And so it's offensive to me on a personal level, but also just what General Kelly heard Trump say about our service people who have died or been you know, captured in conflict, POWs, KIA. He called them suckers and losers and General Kelly heard that. And I trust the background of that general more than I trust the, the background of the 19 sycophants that Trump was able to manipulate into saying that they didn't hear him say anything like that. But it was a private conversation. And I think Trumpism is just kind of in a nutshell, getting a small group of people just to create an illusion of a certain narrative that isn't you know, what really happened. And that's what these folks have been doing this whole time. They've been manipulating the truth, not just half-truths, but full-on blatant lies. You know, that's really offensive to me too. I don't consider really consider myself the most morally upstanding individual. Um, you know, I certainly have my flaws and I have a lot to work on. I'm in therapy. For people to stand behind that is over the line. You know, it's over the line. That's all I can say. It's, it's incredibly disrespectful and it's over the line. Mm -hmm.